Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of our pattern balloon series. If you checked out my last video, we show how to make the arrow pattern. Today we're going to show you a single spiral, a double spiral. I hope you like it, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back and we're going to show you how to make our spirals. What we need for this video is a stand. I always like to use the stands. You don't have to use a stand. You could use ribbon or monofilament. I'll do a video on that, but there's plenty on YouTube if you uh, uh, search it for it. But uh, we're going to use my favorite stand, the NOT stand. If you watch my videos, I use this a lot. Anyway, we got 8 inch balloons. Uh, sorry, 11 inch balloons blown up to 8 inches. So you can use a sizer for that. I showed another video on that as well. So I'm taking two, we're going to need two different colors for this type of, of column. Okay, so you're going to make a duplet of one color. I'm using orange in this case. And we take another duplet of, an, uh, of, uh, of white. We tie those together, and that's how you make a duplicate. You take a two balloons, tie them together, and we marry them. Now, to make a, a I, I call it a single spiral balloon arch. It's just where uh, they alternate, the spiral alternates. So you actually have a spiral that goes around like this. So the way you get that type of design, which I'll show you right now, is you start the balloons together. So you'll have one color on one side, one color on the other, and then when you put it on the pole, it's going to end up looking like this. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. So, we're going to start it like that with two colors on one side. And you're going to make sure you put the, when you put it in, if you, when you put the balloon column on, you're going to make sure you put it, uh, the two balloons that are different colors onto the pole. You put it on and then rotate it, getting the balloons to be white, orange, white, orange. Now, you're going to take, make another quad, starting the same exact way with two colors on the same side. We're going to put it on and then rotate it. Now, this is where you determine which way your spiral, uh, which way your uh, arch is, your column is going to go, which way the spiral is going to go. If I want it to go around this way, okay, that would be clockwise, you're going to make sure that this white balloon starts on the left side of this bottom balloon. Okay, so let's do it that way and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to make sure that this is on the left side of the, of the orange balloon and you push it out. Okay, and then our next quad, do it the same exact way. Two colors on this side, two on this side. We put it on, rotate them. Now, if I put it on this way, that's going to mess up the pattern. That's going to be a different, com completely different pattern anyway. So, we're going to make sure it goes clockwise so the orange is always going to go to the left of it which would be this way, and we're going to keep doing that, and you'll see what I mean. And orange is going this way. Orange going that way. Now you see the, this orange is coming around, so I can start looking at this one and then following it that way. It's not too confusing, and you get the drift. And you, as you can see, we have the spiral, alternating spiral. We have an orange spiral, a white, an orange, and a white. Once you get to the top, you can add your topper, but now I'm going to show you the other way, which is the double spiral. Okay, now for your double spiral, it's just the, it's the exact opposite of the single spiral. Where we start, where you have your starting point is white, orange, white, orange. You would put it on the pole and then make sure when you rotate it that you have two colors on one side, two colors on the other. And this, this time, I'm not, instead of going clockwise, I'm going to go counterclockwise. Um, and I'll show you how the spiral goes the opposite way. So, we start. Again, on this side, your second balloon is always going to determine which way your spiral is going to go. So, if I wanted to, if I wanted to go this way, where the goes to the left, I'd go be going clockwise. But we're not. We're going to go counterclockwise. So we're going to want to make sure that we're set up there. 
that the orange is to the right of the bottom balloon. And then keep following that pattern and you'll see what I mean. going the opposite way. Now what you want to do, once if you're doing two columns, you're doing like an entranceway, a doorway, or even if you're doing a balloon arch, uh, you're going to want to start one side going counterclockwise and one side going clockwise, and then that's going to give it the spiral effect and it's going to look a lot nicer. So if you're doing two columns, don't go the same way. If you're doing an arch, I'll make another video on that, the arch would start in the middle, and then you start going opposite ways so it kind of gives like they're twirling into each other. And that's really how you correct balloon decorations. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this one. I'll put the topper on and I'll show you some pictures afterwards. Okay, the way you're gonna put your topper on is you grab a, you can use any topper you like, you could use Mylar, but in this case we're gonna be using a nice 36 inch balloon. You blow that up, you tie your 260 to the nozzle, I like to use 260s, you could use monofilament or ribbon, and we just take it, put it right on top, bring that balloon down, you're going to wrap it around, and you're going to tie it. And there you have a double balloon column. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, I got more columns coming out, and uh, hit that subscribe button. I know you're going to like my next videos.